boat um, is fitted um, with a system that is 12 volts. Uh, we have lights that are operating because I've turned all these switches on. But it also has <coughs> what is called um, an inverter, which is quite a clever piece of electronics that takes your 12 volt supply from your domestic batteries and through clever electronics turns it into 240 volts. Um, which means this boat is equipped to run anything that you would run at home within reason um, quite happily by just plugging into one of the main sockets and the ring main that's actually installed in the boat. Um, the inverter itself is in this cupboard here and is quite straightforward to actually operate. Um, the unit is an inverter and a charger and if I cover the inverter side of it first it's quite straightforward to actually review. Um, the inverter is in the off position and it means nothing is actually happening. There is no 240 volts going from the batteries or a landline into this particular boat. If I just press this into the on position, the inverter will have a look to see what environment is going on and switch on to show a green LED here. That means that there is 240 volts available throughout this boat generated through the electronics from the battery. So it takes 12 volts, puts it through the electronics in here and creates 240 volts through the boat. This particular unit is rated at 1600 watts. So this unit is only really comfortable running things up to that rating. So things like electric kettles, which when you switch them on, have up to three kilowatts, three and a half kilowatts. Hair dryers, again with a heating element, three kilowatts, four kilowatts. This device would struggle to actually cope with. But anything rated up to 1600 watts, such as TVs, um, DVD players, um, radios, um, normal everyday domestic appliances, this unit here will actually cope with and run with very successfully. I've mentioned in one of my previous videos that there is protection from the mains on a 240 volt system through RCD or residual current detection. This unit here is very similar to what you see at home and it is literally a series of trip switches rated at 16 amps so that if there is an incident where you are drawing too much current, if for example something got dropped in the water that was connected to the mains, these would trip in the same way as your trips would switch at home and you can just reset them using the normal process that you would at your home. The unit here as well is also quite an intelligent unit because it is an inverter charger. If I was to plug up to the landline I would f first of all turn this to the off position and make sure that my batteries were actually isolated. I've mentioned it before but this stops any spikes, any transients, any currents actually going through the actual boat. I would then connect my landline up to the boat and switch this unit to a position called charger only. What it is actually doing then is the unit is sensing that I'm hooked up to the 240 volts from the national grid and it will realize that it doesn't need to take any power from my 12 volt batteries and it will push the current from the landline through the boat on demand as and when you need it. So it's just like being connected to the national grid at home. The important thing about this is, while it's actually doing this, this unit as well will also look at the state of your batteries. It'll look at the domestic and the start battery. It will take a view on those and it will distribute any charge that it feels is necessary to either bank of batteries, making sure that they're constantly topped up while you're actually on the landline. Um, it's a very nice, straightforward, easy to manage system and will provide 240 volts sensibly, if sensibly managed, or, or your lighting quite happily on, on a charge of batteries for a day and a half, a couple of days, depending on what you're actually doing on it. It's very hard to quantify. Uh, if you have all your lights on, somebody's watching the TV, somebody's using a laptop, um, you're boiling a small kettle, and then obviously your battery consumption will go down um, in accordance with the demand that's actually on there. 
But overall, if you're sensible with your power management, it'll self-maintain, look after itself.